I'm Ian from Ian Taylor Trekking and welcome to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, you've always seen the posters and I'm always like, I need to go there. I want to find out more about this like ancient civilization. I'm finally here and I must say it's exactly like everything I imagined it would be. We have three different itineraries. There's four days, five days, six days. They'll arrive into Cusco, get picked up at the airport, brought to the hotel. As soon as I got off the plane, I felt this amazing energy. It was just lively, so colorful, the people, the music. The, the people there are friendly, the food is delicious. Once you walk around the city, you just find all these crazy little markets. All in all, really, I felt that it was not only a hiking trip, it was a hiking plus tourism at the same time, which is great. You can't have more than this. Usually then, we like to have um, a day or even two days of climatization. I think having those extra days makes a big difference. Getting people onto the trail, they feel more comfortable, they'll feel at ease. To me, I've, I've done several hikes before. And I must say, uh, it's a pretty easy hike. You'll need a bit of training because on the second day, it's like a, a long hike upwards. You know, you've got 3,000 steps downhill. You go up 1,000 meters in one go, 4,000 feet. It's around uh, 7,000, 8,000 steps that we go through. And uh, walking into the rainforest area, it was really magnificent. The amazing scenery, the difference in, in vegetation, plants, trees, the sound of water, the sound of birds, it makes you feel like, like you're in heaven. It's a special route, up and down, crossing mountains, each turn, each peak, has stunning views. We come over some amazing passes, sometimes in snow, sometimes without snow. It was amazing, really amazing. Uh, you could feel the spirituality in uh, some of the places. Uh. We have a bunch of guys on the ground here that will lead people through the journey. They're explaining the ruins, they're explaining the history. You know, every single site that we pass along the way to Machu Picchu. There's a lot to be learned on the trail. The, the historic sites of the Inca Trail is so memorable that even if I wasn't coming for hiking, I would just come and try to, to see what the Incas did. Yeah, so on the trips we bring people to Porter Your Gear. We have a chef, we have service staff. The porters and the guides have been incredible. They're all happy every time you arrive, they give you a round of applause. You literally come here and the tent is already set up. The food is just great. I felt that the team's main concern was safety and that's our number one priority on the trail, you know, and that's why we look at the food, we look at the systems, we look at where the camps are. We want to make sure that everyone has the best chance of getting through the trail as safely as possible. You want to be safe. You don't want to twist an ankle or break an arm or a leg. So they are really concerned about your safety first. We walk into Machu Picchu, you know, the, the morning we start really early, like the, you're on this kind of mystical uh, journey, there's a river down below and you're on this narrow trail. And when you hit the sun gaze, you're standing in this amazing place, looking down at this city. And finally reaching our destination and seeing this amazing sight, amazing. I mean, the pictures does no justice to Machu Picchu. Once you reach to the last step and see the magnificent scenery of Machu Picchu, it's breathtaking. Actually, I couldn't hold my tears. I started crying. You know, watching the sun come over this scene is, is, is quite spectacular. And then when you're walking down into it and you see that postcard image, you know you're there. Just a part of you just is just in awe of where you are and the, <laughs> the view. You're literally above the clouds. You're above everything. Every time I do this, I feel a sense of achievement and I hope that my kids will learn from this experience and will follow my steps because this teaches them a lot in life. I think people go home changed. They feel more confident about their own ability to step out of their own world and not even climbing a mountain or trekking, but just coming and experience another culture uh, opens people's eyes to what's out there in the world. So the learning experience that I'm going to uh, take from this hike and then implement in my daily life is, is enormous. And I've never had a trip where I can learn so much from, from those kind of experiences. Trekking in the footsteps of the Incas, the history, the culture, the challenge, this is an amazing journey. It's one of the best treks in the world. I would encourage people just to get in touch, just get on our website, it's iantaylortrekking.com and I'd love to talk to you. I doubt I will ever do any hike without the Ian Taylor team. It's really, really professional way of doing trekking and hiking and they will enjoy every minute of their hike. It's all mind over body. If you have the mind, 
you can conquer anything you want.